Welcome to Movie Math and Solving One-Step Equations with Fractions. Before we get started, I'd like to show you the way I uh, remember the steps of solving a one-step equation is I use a little mnemonic device called STOP, and that stands for I separate. I get the variable totally alone. I use the opposite operation, and then I please check my work. And I'll show you this process when I solve these problems. Okay. Let's get started with a couple of fractions. And this uh, first one here is 3 fourths B equals 2. So the first thing I will do, and I'll go ahead and write stop over here so you can see how I'm solving this, is I will separate the equation into two. I next need to get the variable B totally by itself. So I need to perform the opposite operation. And it is multiplication. So in order to undo multiplication, I will divide. Now, whenever you have a fraction, I'll show you a shortcut. And let me work this first, and I'll show you why the shortcut works. So I will divide each side by 3 fourths. Okay, so I have 2 divided by 3 fourths. Excuse me, I have 3 fourths divided by 3 fourths and 2 divided by 3 fourths. Uh, whenever you divide two fractions, I have 3 fourths divided by 3 fourths, what I do is, because of the rules with fractions, I will keep, change, and flip. And so this becomes 3 fourths times, change the sign to multiplication, and then I flip. And so in reality, all I'm doing is multiplying by its reciprocal. And you know, 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 3 is 12, and so it cancels. And so anytime you multiply a fraction by its reciprocal, it becomes 1. So the shortcut, I'll show the shortcut on the next one. It may get a little confusing. So let's bring the B down because the fractions canceled. And now I have B is equal to 2, and I'm going to write it 2 over 1, divided by 3 fourths. Okay? Remember, I will keep change and flip. So this will become 2 over 1 times, flipped, I mean change the sign, Flip the fraction, okay? And then I just multiply straight across. 2 times 4 is 8, and 1 times 3, okay? At this point, you have a solution, but you may not like it in an improper fraction form, and you can convert it to a mixed fraction by dividing uh, the, num the bottom into the top. So we will go, 3 will go into 8 2 times which is 6, and that gives me a remainder of 2. And I can rewrite that as 2 and 2 thirds. Okay, now I need to check my work. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in 8 thirds, and let's check our work. So I have 3 fourths times 8 thirds, and that needs to equal 2. So let's see if I did my work properly. 8 times 3 is 24. And 4 times 3 is 12. 24 divided by 12 is 2. So check. We did that properly. Let's move on to the next one. Now how do we tackle this one? We have a mixed fraction and a negative sign. So before I get started, I'm going to convert this into an improper fraction by dividing the uh, bottom I'm going to go 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, and that's going to become 8 thirds B equals negative 6. I'm going to go ahead and just apply the shortcut. So first I need to separate. I'm going to get B totally alone by completing the opposite. And I'm going to assume the opposite is I'm going to multiply it by its opposite fraction, which is its reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply it by 3 eighths. Okay. This cancels, bring the B down, and that leaves me with negative 6. And I'm going to write it over 1 times its reciprocal, which is 3, 8. 6 times 3 is 18. 1 times 8 is 8. Remember the signs. Whenever signs are different, it becomes a negative. Okay? And then... Um, I need to reduce this down. I can divide by 2. 2 will go into 18 9 times, and 2 will go into 8 4 times. 
and I think it is reduced down completely, so it is negative 9 fourths. I then can convert that into a mixed fraction. 4 will go into 9 2 times, which is equal to 8. 9 minus 8 is 1, so it is 2 and 1 fourths. Negative. Remember the sign. That's always tricky. And remember the signs are, the signs are the same, it is positive. So it's negative, negative is positive, positive, positive is a positive, but then if you have a positive and a negative, it is a negative sign. So that's why it is a negative, because I have a negative and a positive. Okay, let's check our work, and I'll try to do this very quickly. I have 2 and 2 thirds, which I converted to an improper fraction of 8 thirds times my answer, which was negative 9 fourths. 8 times 9 is 72. Okay, let's finish this up. And then 12 will go into 72. 6 times. And we have a negative sign. So my work was correct. Okay, let's go ahead and quickly finish this last one. Before we get started, how do I tackle this? I have a mixed fraction. I'm going to convert it into an improper fraction because it makes it easier. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7, so it becomes 7 thirds. I will separate. I then will get x totally alone by multiplying by its opposite. So I multiply it by its opposite, which is its reciprocal. Remember the shortcut. And these cancel, bring the x down. What I do to one side, I must complete on the other. I have 7 thirds times 4 thirds. Okay, that is the reciprocal. 7 times 4 is 28. 3 times 3 is 9. Can I reduce this down further? I think so. Let's see here. 28, what will go into that? It is reduced down completely. I can then complete, convert it into a mixed fraction if I would like. So I will go 9, will go into 28. Three times with a remainder of one, and so it will be three and one ninth. Uh, let me slow down here. What I did was I divided nine into 28. Nine times three is 27, so I have 28 minus 27. That gives me a remainder of one, and then I put nine under the remainder. Okay, so I have three and one ninth. So, um, I then need to check my work, and so I will go 3 fourths times 28 over 9. 3 times 28 is 8, 16, 24, 6 is 74, over 9 times 3 is 36, and 36 will go into 74 two times with a remainder of 2 over 6, and then I can further reduce that to 2 and 1 third. So the work does check. I know that gets a little complicated, but these are tricky. These are uh, fractions, one-step equations with fractions, and they get a little tricky, but we can complete that. Thanks for watching. Moomoo Math uploads a new math video every day.